Hello. <coughs> In this video, I want to uh, show you how to write the equation of a parabola from only a vertex, from only a vertex, and one more point. So what do I mean? So I've drawn <coughs> a rough sketch of a parabola. So this point is uh, negative five, sorry, five five, which is the vertex. Okay. So we said this is the vertex, and this point is 7, 3. So this is the vertex, and this is one more point. And we want to write the equation of this parabola. Now, when I look at the parabola, I decide what has happened to the parabola from the basic parabola. So the basic par when I talk about the basic parabola, I'm talking about y is equal to x squared. So I hope you know how the graph of y is equal to x squared looks like. Okay, So, <coughs> let me draw a sketch of that. So, a basic parabola. I'm talking about this parabola. Okay, So, this is a basic parabola. y is equal to x squared. Okay? This is not drawn to scale, so don't look at the points. So, this parabola, when I look at it, it has, uh, you can see it has first flipped over, okay, then it has moved to the right, and it has moved up, and probably it is pulled, okay, so it looks fatter than this basic parabola. So there are three transformations, probably three transformation. One is, sorry, four transformation. It's flipped. It has moved to the right, it has gone phi up, and it has a stretch factor. Okay, so there are four transformations here, and we want to write by only these two points. You have got only these two information. One point is phi phi, and the other point is seven three. Okay, so whenever you write the general form of any quadratic formula can be written in this form. Okay, so this is can be written as y is equal to you can write a capital A, you can write a small a, so a bracket x. I'll not write something here and something here. So what's happening? So a is the number. So let me write minus a. Okay. You don't need to write minus a. Minus is telling me the parabola has flipped over. That means this has flipped over. Now it has moved. First it has flipped over. I don't know this. This is A tells me the stretch factor. Stretch factor can be either pulled up or it is pulled, pushed down. Here this seems to be pushed apart, okay, or pulled apart. So this number probably would be a decimal number. I'll explain that later. Now, this has moved to the right. So, as it has moved phi to the right, I would say it should be x minus phi squared. And then it has moved phi up. Now, when I'm saying it has moved phi to the, I'm talking about, I'm focusing on only the vertex. So, I'm only looking, I'm talking about this vertex has first flipped over, then it has moved phi to the right, that means I have to put a minus phi, and then it has gone again phi up, so I have to write plus phi. So this is the complete transformation. Okay. Now what is that I know? I know this point 7, 3 is a point on this parabola. Okay, I should not be putting this, I should not be putting this here. If I put this here, this value will become 0. The x value for this whole thing will become 0, okay, which, is, which doesn't serve our purpose. So I'm going to say you have to write, because this is, this is a vertex form. This is, this is also called the vertex form. You should not substitute this value in this equation. So I'm going to substitute. So I'm going to write like this, 7, 3 is a point is a point 
on the graph. Okay, seven three is a point on the graph. So let me scroll up. So what does that mean? That means this point seven three satisfies the equation. That means I can put x as seven and I can put y as three because your first number always tells you the x value and the second number tells you the y value. So let me change color. So I'm going to put 7 in place of x and 3 in place of y. So this will change to 3 is equal to negative a times x. Sorry. So I want to write x as what? x is x is 7. So 7 minus phi squared plus phi. Just like that. So now let me do a little of simplification. So this becomes 3 is equal to minus a times 2 squared plus phi. So now the next step looks like 3 is equal to minus 4a plus 5 because 2 squared gives you 4. Okay, so so now I can take away 5 from both sides. So if you take away 5 from this side, I'm going to take away 5 from this side. Okay, so I am I don't want the 5 on this side. So what will happen? This 5 plus 5 and negative 5 will get cancelled. So let me bring back my red color. So this is, let me scroll up. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2 is equal to negative 4a, which implies 4a is equal to 2, which implies 2a is equal to 1. That means I have halved both the, both the number. So if I divide, let me divide both sides by, so let me use blue now. So if you divide this side by 2, you divide this side by 2. Now ultimately this implies A is 1 half, which is 0 0.5. So what is my equation? So Y is equal to, let us free write, equation was Y is equal to A times X minus phi squared plus phi. Okay, so let me show you that equation. So, yeah, y is equal to negative a times x minus phi squared plus phi. So, so now what happens? So, so this is, so this was the, so now I have to put the value of y. So, y is equal to a is 0 0.5. So I've got negative 0 0.5 times x minus phi squared plus phi. Now, this is fine, but I always want to confirm whether what I've got is right or wrong. So the tool that I'm going to use is, you should know by, know by now, I always use the graphic calculator to check my answer. So go to menu and then go scroll down to graph. So when you go to graph, let me type, let us type the equation. So that is negative 0 0.5 bracket x minus phi squared plus phi. So now think about what would be an appropriate scale. So we know our vertex is phi phi and uh, the uh, x intercept, sorry, one more point is, uh, so let me graph it, okay, so execute and see whether, how the graph looks like, okay, so I may have to increase the scale to 10 by 10 okay, and see what happens, and yeah, that's fine. So I want to confirm what is uh, my minimum, which is this is your minimum, or, or sorry, this is the maximum, yeah, okay. 
so I have to go G solve and type maxima or print press F2 that is 5 5 and I want to confirm what is Y when X is equal to 7 so G solve F6 Y calc and they are asking me what's your Y value I know the Y I'm telling them that my y, y, X value is 3 so what's my Y value there we go when X is 7 Y is equal to 3 hopefully this video has been helpful Thank you very much.